Mirth Lime here, bringing you guys another Fortnite uh, Epic Games Launcher video. So I've been trying to make a video for the last little while, but I wasn't exactly sure what I should put in this video, so I've sort of compiled everything together. Um, for some people, basically they're stating that the fact that they either have where Epic Game Launcher doesn't open at all, that can be the number one thing, or they end up with a black Epic Games Launcher. Now, there can be a couple different things. I can't replicate the problem and I don't have somebody's computer here that has having the issue to work on it um, but I've just been sort of compiling from reading and stuff like that and I'm sort of maybe come up with a possible couple solutions for you guys it's worth a try it's not gonna hurt anything um, so for one thing you want to make sure that you are up to date on your computer any type of drivers video card drivers whatnot make sure that you are actually up to date on that um, and basically all you have to do is look for your video card um, what the make is and then try and find if there's an actual updated driver for yourself so that's pretty simple um, the other thing can be I'm just gonna show you guys here if you look at here you can actually have where let's say for example you have an additional graphics card but you have an integrated um, chip at the same time and what can actually happen is your integrated graphics can actually sort of take over instead and what will happen is, is one's not supposed to be working the way it is and the other program tries to overtake it, then your integrated graphics could possibly make your screen go black. Let's say, for example, you're running on a laptop or something. Um, or I believe, too, you can actually do it with some of the Intel chips, basically. I personally have AMD, so I don't know uh, how many people out there are having the issue. And sometimes, too, I try and get people to respond to me and they don't necessarily reply or their comments just get lost because I get so many comments a day, too. So it's actually hard to keep up and I've had computer issues. So this is one of the things you can do is actually go into your manage 3D settings. Now, this is for an NVIDIA control panel. So that's if you have a specific card on here. This one, let's say, for example, here is an NVIDIA 970M. So this is a laptop that's a mobile uh, video card. And what they did is they actually set their um, their Epic Games Launcher. You actually open it up, manage the 3D settings. You just right-click, basically, NVIDIA Control Panel. What will happen is it comes up. Once it opens, I'll actually just go ahead and show you guys quickly here. Possibly. If it's actually going to open up for me on mine, I don't know if it's going to. Sometimes that can take a little while to load on mine. Okay, there it goes. So it's actually going to open it up. And we go to Manage 3D Settings. And as you see here, it says Global Settings, then Program Settings. I can go over to here. And obviously, I'm going to be missing the actual step itself because I do not have uh, an Intel graphics driver. So it shows Epic Games Launcher. And as you can see, mine's going to look different here. So if you do have that option, you may have um, a Section 2 that says integrated graphics here or you'll actually be able to select your video card so that is one option you guys can try and see if if that's possible that you do have that um, so we're just going to go ahead and close that and i will close this one here now this is the next thing here is that somebody said for example here there's it's open but what happens is, is you have a black screen when it's open um, and they suggested basically adding opengl so Basically, all it is is a hyphen and open with a capital O and then capital L or capital GL, sorry. So what you do is just copy and then you go to your shortcut. You're going to right click one of the properties. And what you will do is at the very end of the actual target, you'll put a space in here. I believe we need a space anyways. I can't remember for sure. I think it has one space. Maybe you can actually just put it up there. You could try it either way, put a space or without the space. I'm not exactly sure which way it's supposed to be. Um, but like I said, you can go ahead and try it. Then you would hit apply and see if that actually opens. If it doesn't, then all you have to do is basically go back in and edit it again to remove it. So that's another option you guys have. But I'm thinking it might actually be something else. So I'm curious if it's actually a problem with DirectX itself or with the fact that uh, Microsoft Visual C Plus 
I think that could actually be a problem too. The 2015, I believe, is the one that um, Epic Games Launcher actually uses. So what you could do is you can go to, to the link here. I'm going to put a link down below for you guys. Or you can just actually do a search too. I'll just show you here. Uh, Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable 2015. It's the first link. I'm actually using the uh, Edge browser. So when you go onto here, and all you'd simply do basically is just pick English and hit download. That'd be it. And what you can do is actually select um, everything and then just click next. It's 27 megs to actually download it. You just go ahead and download that and it wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Just go ahead and run it. You can save it if you want to, but you can actually just go ahead and run it itself. Um, now this, it may actually work different depending on your browser. Like I said, this is Edge. So if you're using Chrome, you may have to actually download it and then open it after. So that's the one thing there. Now the next thing is DirectX. And usually what happens with DirectX itself, um, you're going to have where DirectX will not actually install because it already sees that it's installed. I'll just actually show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and download. I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to go no thanks and continue. So I'm going to click on this, run. And like I said, we're using the Edge browser here. Uh, I get a window in the other. That's basically what happens. I got two monitors here. So I'm just going to go ahead, DirectX SDK. I'm going to click yes. And now we're going to pull this over here just so you guys can see it. I accept the agreement. I'm going to get hit next. You can click off this to install the Bing bar. You don't need that. Um, you can click on next. And probably what's going to happen here is because we already have DirectX installed, it actually tells me DirectX setup has determined that a newer or equivalent version of DirectX has been installed already. No installation is necessary. So the thing is, is that if DirectX has a problem with it, um, then what's going to happen is, is this isn't going to probably go through properly. So we want to basically trick Windows into thinking that it's missing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to my file manager here. Basically just open up. I'm using Windows 10. We're just going to go into our actual directory itself. We're going to go into C drive. Then we're going to click on uh, Windows. I already have that actually open up there on top. So here we go. We're just going to go to Windows and then we are going to go to System32. And then we are going to look for a specific file. And what it's going to be is xinput 1-3.dll. And what we're going to do with that file is we are just going to actually erase it. I'm actually just following a little guide here just so that we have the correct files here. So like I said, that'll be your first one. So all we're going to do is basically just right click and we're going to go ahead and delete. And it's gone. Now what we're going to do is our second one, we're going to do a uh, local disk C and then Windows. We're going to click back on here again and we're going to go to SysWow um, 64. And then we're going to look for the same file over there. Now this is only available on a 64-bit system. So if you have a 32-bit, then this wouldn't apply to you anyways because you're not going to be able to actually run the program. So we're going to try an x input um, 1-3.dll. You're going to right-click on that again. We're going to go ahead and delete. And now that's gone. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we can just click on this basically, or we can just go ahead and repeat the actual download we already did. Um, the Edge browser, it should actually show download somewhere here. I believe it will anyways. Um, it's probably in settings or something. I don't usually use that. I usually use Chrome, but we're just going to go ahead and click on download manually. And then we're going to run. We're going to get this box again that actually tells us DirectX SDK. We're going to click on yes. And we're going to go ahead and select that I accept the agreement. Click Next. We're going to click off Install the Bing Bar. We're going to go Next. And now what will happen is it's going to actually install DirectX. So it's basically looking for the components. And it's going to find out what you need to bring your computer up to par. Oh, 
actually we already have here. It says uh, download size. I actually forgot to click on next. As you can see, it's downloaded components. Now it says installing components. It's basically searching for what you have on your computer, finding out what you need. Now you can see it's actually finalizing and it does say the components installed are now ready to use. And we're going to go ahead and finish. And now, like I said, you can try and go ahead and open up your Epic Games launcher again after you've tried those two things. Your uh, Microsoft Visual um, Studio and your DirectX and see if possibly that helps. I can't guarantee I don't have anything here to try it for you guys. It's just something that's worth a try. Um, I know that they're not giving too many people support as to... Um, that are having this problem. I'd like to be able to figure out what exactly it is. And like I said, if I had a computer here that was doing it, then I'd be able to work through the problem. But unfortunately, I do not have one here. So um, anyways, I hope that actually helps. If it does help you out, or even if it doesn't, be sure to leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what the case is, and then I'll keep trying to work on a solution for you guys. But for the time being, that's what I've come up with. I'm hoping it possibly will work. But like I said, I can't guarantee it. So um, anyways, Hope it possibly helps you guys out. Um, and I'll have more videos up soon. Like I said, I'll be trying to work on the solution if it does not work. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.